Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First of all, I want to welcome the witnesses. And, and Mr. Rosenberg, my, uh, please accept my condolences for your loss. I'm also a father, and no father should ever have to attend their child's funeral. Every day I pray that my children come home safely. Every day. Please, I pray for you and your family. Um, when it comes to crime, victims of crimes, criminals, in my opinion, with or without documents, there is no room for you in our society, period. Wanted to, if I can, turn to the issue of trust that we kind of touched on or not. Um, Mr. Scholenbeck, you are from Orange County. Mr. Spitzer, your boss. Uh, Sheriff Barnes, his predecessor, we all have worked in our communities to earn the trust of our communities. We have a high percentage of workers who are undocumented that are actually employed in the um, Disney area, the hotel industry. Trust is very important when it comes to crime fighting. I'll give you an example. A few years ago, I came home from work. Helicopters, police cars everywhere. Drive up to my driveway, my wife says, what is going on in the neighborhood? So I said, honey, let me make some phone calls. Local police chief tells me, a rapist has been caught in the act. Tell my wife, it's okay, I think they're about to catch him. She freaked out. Lock the doors, lock the windows, there's a rapist in our community. She was right. Later on, we found out what had happened. A young man got caught raping a woman in the local laundry room, the apartment's right across the street from my house. Found out later on that he had raped no less than 20 undocumented women. Minimum of 20 because we don't know how many others never reported the crime. This guy is gone forever, but if these women had not stepped up and reported the crime, he would have never been arrested. If he would not been caught in the act, it would have kept going. This is why trust in our communities is so important when it comes to reporting crimes. All of us are part of the same community. You wanna talk, I'm glad you're here to talk about the Chilean issue. As you know, your boss called me late last year to address this very specific issue. I have been working with your office, the Chilean Embassy, with the Department of Homeland Security, as well as the State Department to figure out what is going on with this visa program. And by the way, I believe Chile is the only country in Latin America that has this program in place, no other country. Now if I can, Mr. Chairman, without objection, I'd like to submit for the record some of the correspondence, some of the letters we've been writing back and forth, and I believe some as well to Mr. Spitzer. One dated June 15th from Congress members Kim living in Korea, to Mr. Mayorkas on this specific issue. June 15th from Levin Correa on Chile, again, to the ambassador of Chile. June 6th from Correa to DHS and the State Department on this issue. From the ambassador of Chile to Mr. Todd Spitzer, dated June 14th. To the embassy of Chile to yours truly, dated June 16th. So these, I think, without some, objection, if you could please submit those. These are some of the issues that we've been dealing with. And I thank you for being here. And I thank Mrs. Spitzer for bringing this up because the first step in solving a case is to know that the crime is actually happening. Um, the issues here, and I only have 44 seconds, is as you kind of alluded, are the databases, the criminal databases that are not quite connected over there, and we're in the middle of working with that. And the bottom line, all the gobbledygook put aside is, this thing either gets fixed or that visa program is revoked, as it should be. Because any criminal, whether it's in Orange County, in Mr. Spitzer's backyard, or in my backyard, is a crime that's unacceptable. And by the way, it's not just Chileans. There's a number of European gangs that are also involved in these kinds of programs that we need to shut down immediately. So I wanna say thank you for being here. Thank you for your testimony. 
we want to make sure we continue to work with your office and others to make sure our communities, our citizens are safe. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair, I yield.